so excited for all that happened here and all the enthusiasm of the community and, and how people got really engaged and just so thankful for the three men who came forward, wanted to make a difference, wanted to see something to honor the trees and legacy of the trees. And here we are today with this fabulous, incredible piece of artwork that will stay in our community for years to come. Well, the wood art, the new dinosaur, will be placed in the new plaza and it will become its new home so that people can come from all over and see this incredible piece of art right in the middle of our town. I want the residents to really kind of embrace the, what we've done here and really see that there's so much opportunity for the future, a way of, of really recognizing, you know, the change in the valley. We, Yes, we had to take down the trees, but we're finding ways to really give them a purpose and, a, and honoring them, and, and this will be a true legacy for the community. After today's events, there were so many great ideas as to how we can utilize these trees, right from giving opportunity to the community to access them, as well as making more mulch, having future tree carving events. There was just so much great ideas out. So we're looking forward to hearing more and using those ideas and, and repurposing as many trees as possible. To put an event like this together takes many, many people. But first off, I would like to thank Wayne, Tony and Harp for coming up with the idea in the first place and finding a way that we can actually repurpose the trees. We needed the support from the flood team, the town, council and just so many people involved to make this happen. Community events got involved having the car boot and the Pioneer Trail and Humane Society and it was just a very interactive event. And thank you to Marina Cole for giving us this incredible piece of art that we can look at for years to come.